Hi, you guys, and welcome back to my channel, Brandy the Butter Queen. I'm here with another video. Quick, short, simple, to the point. Tonight, we are doing some wonderful hoisin garlic sauce with a little dab of honey grilled chicken wraps. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so we are starting out with some sliced onions. We have some small red tomatoes that I have sliced longwise, as you can see, this way. We got some fresh avocado. We have some minced garlic, chicken breast, oil, and then we have our seasonings. We have our Tony's, our black pepper, onion powder, and then of course we have our honey, our hoisin sauce, and then we have our wraps that we're gonna wrap them in. We have, tonight we're gonna do the tomato garlic, and then our spread is gonna be chive and onion cream cheese, gouda, which is my favorite, we're gonna do our base in our fresh green leaf. And guys, that's green leaf, that's not romaine, okay? Green leaf, see? Green leaf, okay? And then we're gonna add some more green to it and we're gonna have some fresh spinach. So, let's get started. So the first thing we've done is that we have preheated our pan to a medium heat and we're going to add our oil. Okay. And then we're going to begin to place our chicken. As soon as that heats up, we're gonna place our chicken in there. Okay guys, now, before we get started with our chicken, I said we was gonna place our chicken in there. We're gonna put a little bit of our garlic in there, okay? We want our garlic to get in there. All right, now we're gonna go into, look at that. Oh, that's gonna smell so good. Now we're gonna add our chicken. And you don't have to put as much as I'm putting in there. And we got them cut up thin. As y'all can see, I'm trying to make sure I prep before I get started with my videos. So of course, you know, this was two chicken breasts. So, and not split, this was two full chicken breasts. So you, as you can see, if you slice them thin, it's a lot, okay? So, sorry guys. We want to make sure that we do not use that same container. So now we're going to go in with our black pepper. Okay. Our Tony. and our onion powder. Okay, now we're gonna take the rest of our garlic and put it on top. Okay guys, so we are back. 
and we are getting this tossed together and nicely seared. Okay. We're going to crank it up just a little bit. Now you guys know I don't do salt. You know, no salt. But it's at your discretion if you choose to use salt and pepper. But I like flavor. So, which is the name of my food company. And when I say food company, guys, I'm talking about the name of the food that I cook and sell. But I love the flavors to be infused with garlic and onion powder and, you know, various seasonings. If I was to show you guys my seasoning package, you would be, like, probably flipped out. This is getting a beautiful color on here. Now, normally, I would put this on my griddle, but not tonight. And as you can see, the chicken is beginning to change color. Right now, it's in that kind of paleish white stage. So please know, it's not done. You look at it, it's not complete, guys, okay? So please don't serve that to anybody, and it's not ready yet. Okay, so while that is cooking, we're going to get our wraps. That's them. Okay? And yeah, remember guys, I told y'all I was starting this like kind of low carb on my best thing. And if you guys know of any different recipes, let me know. And I'll be more than welcome to try them. Let you know any way to help. So we're gonna get our wraps out. See them? And they smell so good. This is a tomato garlic. Okay? It's made with real veggies and herbs. It's made with extra virgin olive oil. Um and the carbs, the net carbs are not high. And it's called bed G. That's who they're made by. And it's basically new. It's new. So we're going to start off with these. And you can hear our chicken is doing really well over here. We want it juicy, but we don't want it to where it's just wet. When you bite into a wrap, you want the juice, but you want the flavor of, you know, the tomatoes and these beautiful onions and then our spread of cream cheese. Then, guys, we are going to top it off with a avocado poblano by Maurice. Awesome, awesome. That's going to be our top sauce. And... And when I say top it off, I mean just a little sweet, just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. So you want some of this juice to cook out of this chicken. Okay, so what we're about to do now is we're about to take our cream cheese. And we're going to do our bottom spread, okay? And you can use, there's uh, garlic and herb, there is chives and um, onion. There's so many different kinds of creatures. And then you can just do uh, original, if that's what you choose to do. Uh, original cream cheese. We want to get our um, cake spatula somewhere. 
when you have kids and they move your stuff around, you're looking for it and you're trying to figure out where it's at and it's everywhere else but in the white spot. So we're gonna get one of these, it spreads much easier. I found that to be so true, okay? And we're gonna get some of this. Make sure your cream cheese, try your best to take it out like an hour before you start using cream cheese so it'll be easier to spread. Our chicken is doing really well. And that's what we're looking for our chicken to do is to get all yes this is what we really what we're looking for for it to get down okay guys this is what we're looking for you see those browning spots that's what we're looking for we just wanted the that juice to kind of cook down out of that so we can kind of have some kind of grill mark you know these are probably what you call pan mark you see that that's what we're looking for okay guys so now we're back we have to have to shift everything over okay so like i said we're gonna spread our cream cheese on here okay all right and whatever kind of cream cheese you want to use okay then we're going to start with our base which is our green leaf and guys, I love green leaf lettuce. It is amazing. Okay. It's already been rinsed off, but I'm going to rinse it again. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to take, look how beautiful that is. Beautiful. You want to take it and you want to, I like to split mine and put some this way and then turn it that way. Okay. Where it's kind of, see, like that. Okay. Then you want to take your cheese, which cheese of your choice. I'm a Gouda girl. I love Gouda, any kind of Gouda, smoked Gouda, old age Gouda. I love it. Okay. And you don't have to put a lot, you know, just, just one slice. Because if you know, like I know, Gouda goes a long way. So you really can just take it and kind of tear it down the center. Well, that ain't gonna be even, but we try. Okay, put that there. And because our chicken is still hot, we don't want to put it directly on there. Okay. And I'm gonna show y'all in just a minute of the the um, the flavor in the color of the hoisin and remember that's the reason why we used a lot of garlic because of this right here the hoisin okay and then you just you know a little bit of your honey just a little bit not a lot and then you just kind of toss it around in there just a little bit just a little bit and then I'm going to show you guys the way it looks and you got that fresh garlic in there well not fresh but minced you know what I mean okay so this is with the hoisin sauce the honey and all those aromas coming together it is amazing okay so now our trusty dusty tongs as y'all can see my other ones were teal we used the raw chicken with that so we want to get some more for the regular cooked chicken okay so now what we want to do is we want to add a few onions just a few you don't have to add a lot just a few okay and guys, you can serve this chicken cold if you like. 
you can kind of wait for it to get cold or yeah i'm talking bad or that's my r or you can do uh room temperature okay so now before we finish it that's how it starts okay now we want to come over here and we want to lay our beautiful avocado Guys, and my husband and I, we love, it's nothing like fresh avocado. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Spinach. And you can kind of mm, break it up and just kind of press it down on there like that. Like that. So far, we're doing good. And then I sliced the tomatoes, if you didn't see it in the beginning of the video, but I sliced them long ways like this, okay? So they can lay on our wrap. I like using these tomatoes for wraps because they're bite size. And they're cute. And you can get a whole bag of them. Like that. And as you can see, it says 100% healthy snack. And now for the avocado poblano sauce. Remember I said we're going to top this with our top sauce. Not a lot. Just a drizzle. Just a drizzle, guys. Let's see what this tastes like. Mmm, that is good. So, there's no, whatchamacallit, so we got a drizzle, like literally. See that? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Time to wrap. And we're going to see how well we can show our wrapping skills. Tonight's show is called Wrap It Up. So we're gonna push it this way. And we're going to, ooh, ooh, look at there. We're gonna wrap and tuck. We're gonna wrap it up, guys, look. Get back in there, little tomato. And you want a tight fitting wrap, look at that. Look at that. So we are going to take that. And you also, guys, you can make cold wraps with fresh turkey, ham, things like that. Now we're going to do is we are going to slice them up. I'm slicing. And we're gonna do it at an angle, okay? Just like that. And the good thing about wraps, and the better tasting way to eat a wrap is to kind of let it sit for a brief moment. And we're gonna present this. Look at that, guys. Can you see it? Look, we got our chicken, our avocado, our bottom sauce, which is our cream cheese, our top sauce, we got our onions, tomatoes, all in there. And we're gonna take it, you can see it real good over here. And that greenery is just beautiful. And that is how we serve our wraps. I hope you enjoyed tonight. I hope that you eat for a better living, better life, guys and i will see you soon be safe mask up and i hope you guys have a wonderful blessed evening bye